Welcome to my collection of reasonably high precision multimeters and voltmeters. The four multimeters are five and a half digits and the three voltmeters are six and a half digits. We've got uh, two Hewlett Packard 3456As, an HP 3455A, a Fluke 8800A, and three HP 3468As. Now, these things have a few issues that concern me, uh, not least of which is the rotten LCD display. I would love to do something about that, like a minimum backlighting, but preferably replace them with OLEDs. But that's a long-term project. M more immediate concern is that the calibration data inside them is stored in a CMOS RAM chip which is backed up by a battery. So obviously if the battery fails the calibration data disappears. They do test the calibration data in the self-test process at startup and they all pass OK. So presumably the data is not corrupt. Uh, but looking at these voltages, not agreeing with this lot very well, so I suspect the calibration data isn't very good. Another thing in there is the firmware ROM apparently has a tendency to deteriorate and not remember the firmware and so the thing stops working. So I'd like to get in there and extract the calibration data from each of them and the firmware in case that fails and also to compare the firmware with a couple of images that I've got off the internet to see if uh, they're the same version because I've been trying to disassemble it. So it'd be nice to know that what I'm trying to disassemble is the same as what's in these. So before I started trying to read the cal information, I just thought it would be interesting to see how well calibrated they are. Now, these guys, I'm pretty happy with their accuracy. As you can see, they're all in very close agreement. That these are set to high resolution at the moment. I'll, I'll take them back a digit so that they're comparable with this lot. These three are set to a long sampling time so that they average over a greater period and produce more accurate results. These two are set at a 100 power line cycle. And now they're all got the same number of digits showing. You can see that these three are within, what's that, 200 millivolt, 200 microvolts of each other. Whereas these are all over the shop. Now, I'm reading this, these voltages from these AD584 voltage references off eBay, the cheapest chips, and uh, they're being powered by a lithium ion phosphate battery pack producing 16.5 volts. I've got a number of these, but five of them are there. Sometimes they come with calibration certificates, if you like. Uh, the third, fourth, and fifth ones came with it. Now, there are other variants of these things you can get on eBay that sometimes have calibration certificates, but they are printed. Yes, they're all the same, so they're fake. Whereas these are handwritten, you can feel the pen impressions, and they do seem to be correct. For instance, now looking at number three on the 10 volt range, and it says it should be 10.0020. Okay, they're, they're all reading a bit lower than that, but if we try, say, number four, which is also set to 10 volts, let those average up over time it should be 10.0032 and you can see that they're all close to that although reading a little high now and the third one the uh, third one is set to 5 volts currently so that should be 5.0025 and again within 200 microvolts not that the accuracy of those things is important for this, but just that they be stable. And you can see that these three, these four are always in pretty good agreement, and those ones are all over the shop. I should have shown you the voltages on all of them. We're now looking at number five on 5.0025 volts, it should be. And they're closer there, aren't they? Uh, but on the 10 volts, they seem to go a bit wonky. Just going back to number four which should be 10.0032. They don't agree with each other very well, and they don't agree with this lot. 
back to number three where 10 volts should be 10.0020 they're all a few hundred microvolts low but in close agreement with each other and again they're all over the place so uh, if I did lose the calibration data in them I, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be too worried because they're probably wrong anyway I'd like to recalibrate them to match these guys oh and you can hear the fan noise it's uh, that's coming only from this one The others are all silent. I should do something about the fan in that, try and put in something quieter or um, something that only comes on when it actually gets hot. I thought that would be interesting to look at. In the next video I will have a look inside these guys and uh, try reading the, the calibration data and, and the ROM firmware. That's it for this one. Uh, catch you later.